Hello, Evidently Dashing. How's it going? You let me know if there's anything really goofy about the audio because I'm trying it without the headphones. I understand that the software is supposed to keep the microphone from picking up the music. So y'all let me know how that do. What's up, uh, Cybersporta? You sound pretty clean? Well, thank you. You look pretty clean. Toasty oat. New cradle. There's a couple things I wanted to get done. This is like a warm up for the real thing I want to draw. So. I just wanted to draw Hank and I got him here with this little X on his face because that's always fashionable. Mythmare with a host, thank you. Y'all here to watch me suck at drawing? I understand that it's a very educational way to figure out how not to draw. Is he dabbing? Oh my god, see, no, like, his arm is down here, but I could just put his arm up here. I mean... Nah, there's some people out there who'd lose faith in everything if that happened. He looks like he's dabbing and holding his ass, that's what you said, okay. I don't know how to feel about that particular arrangement of words. Hank Dab. <laughs> Thanks for the bit, Stick Tick Toby. How am I doing? I'm doing good, actually. Um, I cooked a shitload of stir fry today, as I just had, like, defrosted a bunch of chicken. And I had one of those, like, big old glass things full of the General Tso's stir fry sauce, and I was like, fuck it, let's just make a shitload of it. And now I got, like, a whole bunch of Tupperwares of the stuff just in my fridge, and I'm loving it. I'm gonna eat it until I'm tired of it. Yeah, stir-fry with beef just, like, I feel like there's better things to do with beef. Stir-fry was made for chicken. Hey, thanks for the more bits. Chicken with mustard? I've graduated. Mustard's great, but um, I've started using Sweet Baby Ray's and all sorts of uh, the variety of the uh, stir-fry sauces. Oh, you could, you could shush. Listen, I gotta thank you guys for coming down on me for the abhorrent way I live my life. On more than one occasion, you guys have fixed my shit, and I thank you. No, yeah, steak, I feel like the less you do to it, the better. Chicken's the opposite. The more you do, the be better. You know, I can't be alone in thinking that, because I read that and am regurgitating it, because I believe it. I didn't give up on mustard chicken so much as I just learned that there are better ways. I still got mustard in the fridge though. Sandwiches are do be good with mustard. My day's going good. draw here. I said we'd do a draw stream and now we're doing that.
Hank Dab, Hank Dab, Kim uh, uh, Chow. Oh wait, Kim Cow. Okay, sorry. I thought that was Chow, but then I realized that it was spelled different. How many all do I got here? Oh, Tavon, good evening. How are you holding up? I'm holding up great. I mean, I'm better than I deserve right now, so I'm just kind of wanting to share that energy with you guys while I do some drawing. Thanks for the host there, Brick. How do I feel about fish? I like sashimi and I like sushi, but cooked fish always smells weird to me. I... That's, that's my... That's my take. Dead fish. Random question, but what do you think of the Outback Steakhouse? I've not tried the mac and cheese at the steakhouse, uh, of the Outback Steakhouse. The Outback Steakhouse is good. I like their hamburgers. Uh, in fact, Outback was the kind of place that I'd go to to get a burger over a steak. Not speaking poorly of their steaks, but I just like their hamburgers. Also, Jalapen uh, wait, Japanano has resubscribed to one second month. Thank you. What am I drawing? I'm drawing Hank. I drew Hank with a little X on his face, and I thought that was kind of cute. There's a character from Siege that does that, right? One that does the gas mask? I don't know, I always like the, the, the cross on the face. Mute. Of course it would be someone named Mute. Sorry, I played Siege for like the very first season for maybe 40 hours worth, because it was really engaging and I had some friends that I, you know, really hung out with and we'd play all the time. And then as soon as that disbanded, I just stopped. What about the odd parts of the cow? Tongue, head, intestines? Sorry. I'm not I'm not cool enough to indulge. After the game was finished, how's the progress of Madcom 9-5? Uh, we can go look at it real quick. In fact, that might be kind of fun. Let's go to my OneDrive. Prepare your screenshots, kids. Okay, so, um, I took segment zero, which had the intro as part of it, and I separated that out into, uh, part two segment title, which, admittedly, needs the animating parts uh da, 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 da. but um that's not a big deal that will actually be pretty quick once i know what it is and i do um but all the rest of this stuff let's uh load up the old overlay applier it's like six minutes long almost i i i feel ridiculous that i haven't had anything to show except for like you know the patreons i'll post every month and say like look guys i'm still fucking going also thanks for the follow um but yeah yeah it's this shit and see like there's segment one segment two segment three segment four five six and then i just started segment seven here which might go to about i don't know 5 30 maybe i just gotta wrap up the loose end and then get it done also this last part where is he? Oh, I turned him off. Is my little flaming man. <laughs> I put him at the end of the cartoon for no fucking reason because it's easy to do in After Effects. Um, but yeah. That's... There's like a lot of it and I'm excited. But it's not ready. Sorry. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> this whole time I forgot. Clip Studio. Man, that was funny. Okay. Blap, 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 blap. There we go. See, that would have been great if I had just like closed 
After Effects and went back to work, and you guys like saw nothing. <laughs> it would have been even better if it were deliberate, but uh, okay. So to recap, this is the title sequence that you guys are aware of. Da, 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 da. And then we got sequence one, sequence two, sequence three, four, five, six, and seven down here, which is what I just started on like a day ago. And I just got to finish it out to about 5.30 or so is where I expect it to end. But you know how these things go. You just add kills, add kills, add kills. And what I was talking about, my little flaming man, I just put him on the timeline because he's fucking precious. That took like 50 hours to render. And it, well, it's not even that high quality of a render. Like, look at this shit. It's, it's like four... 80. It's just those volume things, man. But yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll just close that out. Don't you dare save. Mm -hmm. Take a turkey with a thousand bits. Pog, pog, pog. Thank you. Thank you for all the bits. I suppose the music needs to come back on now. And a bunch of followers. Thank you, Clandestine, Ro uh, Clandestine Rabbit. Uh, music. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're back on the left screen. Shit. Let's just turn that back on. Beloved people. <laughs> oh, you didn't see shit. You did see a dancing flaming man, though. But I feel like I owe you guys at least that much of a sneak peek because of how long it's taken me to get that done. The little dude, thank you for sharing. Yeah, I, no, no, I feel like it's been a year since I posted the cartoon. I, in my defense, the card, the the game has been really, really devouring my time. Um, but you know, excuses, excuses. The work must continue. And that's why this Hank isn't for anything in particular. I'm just warming up. How do I plan on connecting the events of MPN to the cartoons? The cartoons aren't even connected to the cartoons, dude. We do a little sneak peeking. How long do you think 9.5 will be at the end of production? Oh god, like five and a half minutes, maybe six. All right, do I sound louder to you guys? I'm like trying things here. Do I sound louder? No. Uh, tank catapult with the wand. Dodge Viper is a high-performance sports car produced by the Chrysler Corporation under the Dodge brand in North America. I like the Dodge Viper. It looks cool. Thank you for the sub. Nine months, dude. Thank you. Vox with 25, thank you for the sneak peek, Crinkles. Well, thank you for buying me some more stir fry and chicken. Like, for real, Jesus Christ. And that's when I end my stream. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, I kind of want to just play Psychonauts all night, though. Like, the game's been on my fucking mind all day. Get it? Yeah. Ah, ah. What's the hardest part about developing a game? Maintaining my enthusiasm. But considering that I didn't have a Twitter meltdown, I think I did a pretty fucking good job. No, if I have a Twitter meltdown, it'll be on my terms. I assure you. I will not be pushed off the ledge. I will run off the ledge. None of this like, oh, you made me crazy. Bitch, I made me crazy. You were just along for the ride.
Sigma grids. <laughs> Stop calling me a Sigma male. <laughs> Fucking shit. Yogurt mail, there it is. There it fucking is. Have you considered repurposing the cut content? Uh, no, I'd rather just make new content. The old content is old and garbage and I hate it. And I can do so much better. It's like repurposing old drawings that are in the garbage for a reason. Like, fuck them. They're gone. I can do better. And I feel like attaching myself and my identity to old drawings that are thrown away would be holding me back, and then I can't learn how to draw. And that's a bold statement from someone whose drawings haven't gotten better in like three years. <laughs> Trying guys, you just need to criticize me more. What else is coming PN2 now since the release? Shit, relax. A little relaxing. No, I don't need roasts, I need critique of my art, actually. And I know you motherfuckers are really good at art. I'm having the hell of a time uh, judging the art contest. Uh, Miss Ebola, actually, is kind of taking some strong reins there and making shit happen, thankfully. So we're hopefully going to have some uh, results by Wednesday or so. But that is to say, I know you guys are good at art. And that said, I could do with some art critique. Don't make me come seeking it, because that's embarrassing for me. Fine, I'll do it. Loving the game? Well, I'm loving that you're loving the game. New shotguns? Ah, shotguns. Full Twitter critique. That might be kind of fun. I remember uh, Shadman did one of those a little while ago. The problem with, like, Twitter is I feel like a lot of the people who follow me on Twitter, like, are just going to say my art's good, like, no matter what. And that's why I didn't really get good criticism until I started leaving the new ground circles. Is that some shotgun hating I heard? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, I tank. Uh, as far as Dodge Vipers go, it's always blue with a white stripe. If it's anything else, it's another car entirely. What I really want to get better at, the one thing I want to get better at, I mean, like, among all the other things, I just want to be better at art. I want to get better at going faster. I have a hard time with speed. And it irks me when people say, take your time, take your time, draw as well as you can. I'm like, I, I'm 40, all right? I'm dying. I'm not taking my goddamn time. I want to get as much as I can done in that time as I can. And I've seen people draw fast. I remember like one of the first times I saw someone draw really fast was at a convention in Louisiana, I think. And I was running a booth with uh, my then ex, or my now ex, uh, Laura. She was selling her her uh, wares and I was helping her out with that. And the guy next to us was running an art booth and he had his like, you know, prints out and they were just going as they do. And he had his own piece of paper that he was drawing on. And over the course of like three hours, he went from blank sheet to like this really really well rendered drawing of gambit like rendered all the way down to the ink 
like he, he said he was going to take it home and like scan it and then uh, uh, color it then but like uh, three hours for like a rendering in in ink of gambit like articulate with his fingers out and everything it was just like fucking wow also anonymous i saw that thank you for the 50 bucks 6969 i'm gonna put a little note here and we're gonna watch that once i'm uh once we're done with this stream because uh, I'm, I'm on a uh a, a, Um, because I'm kind of on a tear here. If I redid MC1 in the same quality, like with everything going on in my life right now, like if I dropped MC 9.5 and a half, and I stopped helping Swain bug report and test, and I stopped t streaming, and I stopped everything and just started working on that, probably a month. Yeah, it's my fault. I take on too many things. I got dummy. Big dummy energy. Sounds like they're moving bowling balls upstairs. These walls are thick, so they're shooting the bowling balls at each other. Have you tried drawing with no erasing, or at least treating it like you have to get the line right the first time? See, that's why I like drawing on paper. I have my little paper over there I draw on a lot. I like it because of that angle, of the fact that like your drawings, your every line has to contribute. You can't like do what I'm doing here and like get picky. In fact, you know what? That's a real fucking good point. Also, I saw that random person who streams. 104 bits, thank you. So yeah, let's try my best to avoid jumping back on the eraser to get rid of lines I had just put down. Like I'm still gonna use like the eraser to carve shit down like that, but like when I'm putting lines down, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight them. He says fighting them. <clears throat> it's a fucking urge. Also, I saw the first episode of uh, Squid Game today. Holy shit. How tall is a grunt compared to a human? I can't imagine them existing in the same universe. The Ronin Cat has followed. Thank you. Isn't it an Amogus like six feet tall? Which is alarming because the fucking thing would weigh like 800 pounds, considering how large it is. Oh, Fall Guys. Fall Guys, Amogus, it's all kind of the same shit. Sorry. Amogus are 3 4. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Tinder apps exploding. What the fuck? I haven't touched that thing in months. It's that like, we haven't seen you in a while. Relog on and waste your fucking afternoon. Pass. Oh, Swiftu, I am little more than some humble brags like fucking crazy. Humble brags and self-deprecation. That's what you get here. I can't fucking make up my mind about myself. Or maybe it's because I'm desperate to control the narrative that surrounds me, so I talk about myself endlessly.
yogurt milk. <laughs> Stop it, doll. <laughs> Imagine hugging a grunt until it dies. Pandora Knight with the sub. Thank you very much. Oh, that's coming from Spongy101. Much appreciated. has followed. Thank you. Draw something fast. If it looks bad, I look away from it, then move on to some other page. Takes time. Yeah, I imagine as a skill. I just need to take advice and then take to just practicing it. Mostly just commit. I don't know. Maybe my brain's fried from just doing too much dumb shit. Dying Imoga, thank you for following. Dumb shit gang, where are we? I'm in pretty good health, it's true. Jessalise and G, how's it going? Damn, 260 people. Didn't yesterday, we or last time I streamed, only had like 90 people? Are you all coming out of the woodwork to say hello? Difficulty expecting. Popular enough for a Wikipedia page. 
What's your favorite model you did for the game? Oh, uh, probably Ghoul. I liked Ghoul because it was the first time I used a non uh, a non standard armature, and I got to like experiment with a bunch of armature techniques that I hadn't studied before. Favorite origin, Tinkerer. He's fucking broken. I love him. And favorite boss, Hive, because killing him feels fucking great. Like when he flips his shit and launches rockets everywhere, it feels very much like you just defeated a Smash TV boss. And that's... Mm, mm, like, it, I know it's arrogant to like eat your own food and be like, oh, it tastes so good, oh my god. But like, that's one time I'll, I'll make an exception for myself and just fucking do it. I look like Warden from Rainbow Six Siege. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a mistake. Not that they wanted Warden to look like Crinkles, but that they, I look like generic white man. It's sort of like how there's like 100,000 people out there who say, I look like Gordon Freeman. Like, no shit. Who's the, who's the target demograph? White people be like, I look like Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Twenty bits from Tick Tick Toby. Could I, could I hug a grunt? Would like to hug the scrunkly? Hold the. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, love every model. I mean, some of them are kind of bad. Uh, I, I must confess that it's not that I phoned them in, it's just that we're running out of time and some of them were only visible from the distance, like some of the distant building ones, I was like, every time I see them I'm like, oh god, oh god, no one, no one's saying nothing. But they're distant and people come to understand that shit, so I want to thank you guys for being understanding. Mr. Busey. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for an accident that knocks out all my teeth so I can get them replaced with teeth twice as big. Use a ruler, Matt, you friggin' clown. Deadfish with five bits. What were your favorite and least favorite character designs in MPN2? Including alternate character outfits. Least favorite was probably the original bandits, um, only because the files that uh, that they're made up of are effed up real bad, and I can't alter them without destroying everything. Like they're the the badness is embedded in there. Um, I mean, they look fine, but I can't edit them further, not without ripping them all out and making a huge production of it. Um, sorry, it's not an interesting story. It's just me being bad. Uh, not necessarily at Blender, but partially that I'm bad at Blender, but like the file integration, like putting it all into Unity and then sorting it out. And then when you come out the other end and go like, okay, now edit this outfit piece. And you're like, okay. And then you like follow the rabbit hole back to the mesh and you're like, holy shit, why did I allow this to happen? It was long before I had figured out like, uh, you know, conventions. Oh shit, El Horaging Mexican. Subscribe tier one for six months. Six months streak. Damn. We take these six months in stride. Well, thank you. How are you today, big man? I'm doing good. Everyone keeps calling me yogurt, though. Kind of. Kind of. Processing that.
You mean sweet little yogurt. <laughs> Doing the thing again. All right. Faster, faster. I don't know if yogurt exists in Nevada. Can we be certain that it do? Give us a rundown of your diet without mentioning 50 gallons of yogurt. Uh, I don't have any yogurt in my fridge even. chicken and stir-fry sauce and rice and spaghetti and got the Italian sausage. Eat bagels a lot for breakfast. Stop what? What am I fucking done? It's all over. Just for that, we're putting Sephiroth belts all over this guy. Or what was it? Cloud, right? With the belts. I don't know the Hufflepuff Hogwarts nonsense. One of them got the belts all over him. <laughs> Hufflepuff Poggers nonsense. <laughs> You keep your poggers away from me. Whatever happened to that sticker idea? Uh, I'm going to go through Shark Robot. I'm tired of fighting and fucking around and shit. And now that uh, the game is out, I'm finding a couple more hours in the day, so I've been prodding Shark Robot and like examining their site and figuring it out, and I'm like, cool, I can work with this. So you'll hear about it like in a month or a month, a couple weeks or so, at most, once I start getting a product out there, because I got those things, and I want to get them there, uh, so they're easy to get at, and then we can have more shit. Yogurt combat. Fucking killing me. Yeah, I like Dead Space, okay. I mean, it's not scary, but it's fun. I like me some scary games. I was thinking about playing like super old games on this channel. Um, you know, after I get done with Psychonauts. But like, uh, shit like Deus Ex, the very first one. You know, what with all the, the you know, single fact to back that up. You know, all the, all the classic lines. Um, either that or System Shock 2. Uh, 
you know, just XCOM 1, all that shit. You know, the, the thing is, it'd just be super self-indulgent, and I don't know. At that point, why even bother streaming if I'm just going to be doing it for myself, you know? I guess my problem with Dead Space, and it's not even a problem, like, it's it's by design the way it is, like, I'm not saying, oh, they should have been doing this or that or whatever, but, um, I don't find it to be scary because Isaac Clarke is a fucking monster. Like, I'm the, I'm the terror aboard that fucking vessel, you know what I mean? Show us the yogurt cricket. <laughs> Do you like yogurt? What is with the theme of the stream, huh? Alright. Oh, 100%. He doesn't give a shit. He just runs around stomping things, shooting with guns. He is the most dangerous thing on that plane, or that ship. I'm not saying a game that gives you guns can't be scary. No, that's silly. Um, but in that instance, Isaac Clark or whatever his name is, is super, super dangerous, and I do not feel dangerous or I do not feel unsafe with him around. You know, as my protagonist. Conversely, what was it? Bloodwash. You play as a pregnant woman going to do your laundry, and then that fucking guy comes on the bus and is like a super creep at you, and I'm like, well, I feel vulnerable and terrible. This guy is a punk. Isaac Clark, however, would have stomped on that guy's guts and then, like, carried the bus on his shoulder to get to the laundromat. Just a different experience. Have you chosen... Have the awards been chosen? No, not yet. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. Um, I have my Discord, and I've I've put the spurs to them a little bit. If that helps you out, or if that eases your concern, but we have we have really really started boiling shit down because we had like what is it, 150 movies, a thousand pieces of artwork, and like a hundred bits of music. We boiled it down to 50, then to like 30, and then we had to just like stop and talk about shit, and then pull a few more on. And it, it's it's been a whole thing. Um, we're trying to be fair and screaming and yelling at each other but like uh thankfully i got some really good people in there who were helping me out big time because there's no way i could have done this myself this year i shouldn't have done it last year and i ain't doing it this year not on my own i mean Are you a social person? I love people. I'm introverted though, so like an hour or five of them, and I'm drained as shit. And then next week they'll see me again. Did the magic sculptures reach you? Um, I'll go in Tuesday to the PO box and see if they showed up. E Mike, have you seen the latest James Bond movie? Which one was that? Because I don't think I have.
What inspired the reference to Space Station 13 and Project Nexus? Because it's funny. You like the, uh, the sound Hoffner makes when he slips and falls? Does that sound familiar? Space Station 13 is a gem of a game. When I when I fell into that game hard, uh, my favorite role was janitor, and going over to chemistry and working up a deal to get space lube, and then cleaning the floors with it, because that shit was always hilarious. Panzoid following, thank you. Yeah, and I think one of my favorite stories from the game uh, had to do with one of the updates. So, uh, you could make, from the chemistry lab, you could make methamphetamine if you, like, follow a very, very convoluted and specific uh, uh, recipe, right? And so I had it written down on my monitor, like, on a sticky note, and so, like, I hadn't played in a minute, I come back, and I'm like, okay, okay, let's make up a bunch of space meth. Let's get this fucking done. Let's go. Let's go. And so I get to it. And what I hadn't realized is, okay, okay, actually, let me take a step back. And in the process, you have to heat what you're working on to 450 degrees, and then it changes into something else. And then you take it out, and then you continue the process, right? So what I would typically do is set the furnace to 1,000 degrees, and then whatever you put in there hits 450 pretty fucking quick. And then you can take it out, like, and then... It it's just great because then the process goes really, really quick. Put it in, wait two seconds, 450. It's like 500, 700 degrees. It doesn't matter. You take it out, but it's hot enough to have made the change. And so you can keep going. However, when I had hopped on the game, they had changed it such that if it goes over like 460 or something, it doesn't, it, it explodes. And so I set my oven to a thousand. I start the process. You know, the oven's nice and nice and burning so i'm ready to ready to convert whatever i'm whatever i need to do into its next phase i throw it in and then in two seconds it passes the 460 and explodes so bad it creates a hole in the hull of the space station and i'm killed instantly i'm not like knocked out and critted or anything i'm fucking dead like immediately which if anyone doesn't anyone who knows space station 13 knows that it is difficult to die outright you're usually critted out, and like that's that's kind of a way to get resurrect, uh, get saved. But no, no, I was dead immediately, and there was a hole in the hole, and everything went sucked out of it, and it was great. No, I didn't get gibbed. I still had my body, but it was disfigured head to toe because I was standing next to a thing that exploded so hard it it uh, cut open the hole. So. It was a good time. Lyo Blast chosen to follow, thank you. As well as Astrofused following, thank you both. Change my shit here so it read a little better. Spidarian, as well as Toad Bups. Sundrive streams following, Ishmael Newton. Oh, you cool cats following me. Jibby's lol, thank you.
Lavender following. Thank you. Oh, wait, shit. Cosplaying as uh, Demos. That's fucking cool. Did y'all see my uh, To Be Damned mask that Crescent Mage got me? Did I show that to you? I know I did, but the people here, did you see it? Yes, no, yes, no. Show it again? Uh, let me get some some basics here on the fingers. Do you prefer water or H2O? Divine Wind? What the shit, dude? Well, damn, now I have to go get the mask. Should I put on the... I don't know what that is, uh, Jibbies. Sorry. Because, uh, like, uh, for Baltimore Comic Con, I'm wearing it with a dress shirt and a vest. So I'm, I'm like, kind of vibing out pretty hard with it. But, no, we'll just get the mask. But... This vest, though, I might need to get a new one because this one was made for a man a little heavier than me. It doesn't flatter the abdomen as much as I like it to. Yeah. Like with the vest, might get some gloves too. But for real, this mask is hardcore. I love it. Make myself bigger. And of course, you roll up the sleeves to mug. You know I'm kidding. Yeah, no, credit to this mask, uh, Crescent Mage. She friggin' murdered it. It is so cool. Now I just need a mohawk. I'm gonna get a haircut to, like, bring it up as high as I can. I don't look great in a mohawk because my hair's thinning, but, uh, yeah, no, it'll, it'll sort of resemble it, but, you know, try and make up with it, for it with enthusiasm. What is that? Uh, three U three followed. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll be at a, uh, I'll be at Baltimore with this, and it's resin. It's feel. It's tough. Tough as fucking nails. Also, I'm out of water.
some random boy choose to follow. Salty Sculpts. Promised my friend I'd post his nooblet on stream. Well, there it is. Yeah, no, it is absolutely fucking amazing. I'm blessed to have such a cool thing in my inventory. Should I wear it with a tie? Nah, I kind of like it open. Only one question. Man, it's the occasion. It's, I mean, like, this This vest could be nicer, but it looks okay when I just sit here. Like, if I move around, I lose it a little bit. If you were to make a Madness Combat movie, who uh, would you hire Bruce Willis to play Hank? No, he's like 60, you can't do that. Um, of all the episodes of Madness Combat, which is the strongest Hank with no Mag Hank? Oh, with no Mag Hank. Probably seven, because I play favorites. Jerky's reaction. Have you ever traveled to another country? Yeah, Ireland. And I used to live in Germany when I was like a little boy. Market player is Jeebus. Damn. That'd be friggin' cool. I don't think it's ever happening, though. That's... I mean, live action for... Eh. Also, I haven't been really watching Market Player lately. Is he like... I mean, like, he's taken on acting roles, I know that, but, like, can he do, like, serious and solemn, and you all know how he acts in Project Nexus, like, full of himself and conceited and, you know, savior complex. I think Markiplier could pull that. No, maybe I've only seen Markiplier through the one lens where he's kind of like silly. Adam Sandler's Hank. All right, all right. I get it. We're not taking this seriously. It's fine. Fingers are too chunky, my dude. Yeah, he's got some chunky fingers. Let's try to shave them down a little bit. And in doubt, bean it out. Did you get a new monitor? Um, I'm using the same monitor as before, I'm just using a higher resolution. Is it causing lag problems on your end? Because I can knock it back down to 1440.
Mr. Peyton has gifted a tier one sub to Kafinuru. Thank you. Fine for fine for both of you. That's that's enough fines for me. Two. Two. That's all the fines it takes. Okay, I don't know if I want to finish this drawing, but I do know that this makes for one hour I spent on a warm-up draw, which is obscene. Because I got something else that I was intending to do tonight, and we should get to that. Like something that's actually like kind of pressing. Um, yeah, he looks fine. File, save, we'll do a little quick export. Save me a PNG duplicate Pandora Knight with five bits. In theory, if you were to receive a small physical form of a rich, would you prefer a sculpture or a plush? Asking for no particular reason. I have no preference. I like the sculpts. It's like they fit on the top of the fridge real good. So have you thought about making a Madness Combat series? I don't have the time, dude. It's it's enough just to get my shit done. Um, wait, why did I save it as a PNG? I don't want to do that. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So, um, what I really wanted to kind of like feel out tonight was y'all know how in arena mode you can go to the map, um, from the helipad or the bus stop and you got like a spread of uh, icons you just pick a mission and fucking go we want to do the same thing for story mode um where you get like a world map and you run to like some station one in every sector maybe two in every sector you go to it you pick it and then from there you can pick any mission so like if you're all the way in the commercial sector and you want to play a map in the mining sector you can use one of these things so this this idea came to us when enough people complained about the fact that they like the open world, the semi-open world, not open world. It's semi-open world. However, it's annoying to traverse all the time just to get little things done. E Mike, have you ever read any of Bleedman's comics, comic books like Power Puff Girls D and Grimdales from down below? I don't think I have. No. Oh, they didn't complain. They just made their made their thoughts known. Uh, also, Ronan, thank you for the sub. Do I have a Discord chat? Uh, yeah, I use it to monitor Madness Discords. I don't really use it for small talk, though. Ever thought about a cross? I don't even know what Sky Children of the Light is. Okay, okay. Um, up it up it up. Let's make a new layer. Let's put that layer right here. Let's go to multiply. Oops. <coughs> Sorry. Atreus has subscribed to Prime. Thank you. X to a Quispy has followed. Thank you. Was that super fucking loud? Blew my damn ears out. Sorry, Tevon. <laughs> da -da -da. Nice big tick tick Toby hype trade also bless you. Whoa, oh shit, hype trade. Do I say let's go? How does this work? More subs and maybe I'll put on a tie too. Or maybe you guys will have to teach me how to put on a tie. Or you guys could pick the color of the tie. 
I have purple, silver, black, and red. Okay, I guess Bill's picking the the color of the tie. Uh, Bill just gifted the living shitload of tier one subs. Matt, this is just the pull-up bribery all over again. I mean, I got a, a, a squat rack here. I can do overhead presses for money because I'm I want money. Oh, hey, it's a hype train build. Thanks, Bill. Let me see what ties I have. And you'll have to forgive me. I don't know how... Vox! God damn it. Also, look at that. Demon Dre, 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. And Vox with, like, what, five? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Matt, Matt don't tell me that I can't. Y'all have fun with my chair? Wait, did Vox do another? No, no, I thought Vox did another five. It's a scream. I figure. I figure, since y'all are so damn generous, I could see if I can remember how to put on a, a ton of. I can't, so. I also have purple, yellow, and silver. Would one of those serve better? Embarrassing. E Mike with 40 minutes. Have you played Friday Night Funkin'? Because Hank is in. Yeah, yep, yep. I've checked that out. Okay, so. Bu, bu, bu. Screen, come back. Clip Studio, go away. How to tie a Windsor knot. Half Windsor. I think half Windsor is about me. Uh, I dislike this ad. I search for knots and this is the adverts I'm getting. Thanks for the sub, Sibs. Oh, this is. You're all with me here. That's what I got. That doesn't look right. 
Oh, oh. Yeah, buddy, you saved the stream. 40,001 likes for you. Nah, I absolutely do not need quite. Uh, uh, easy. Boom. Don't steal my milk. Gifted a tier one sub to passive personnel. Thank you. Is this look okay? Is this look okay? It's a vest, so... All right, let's get back to what we were trying to do before I had to had to stop and gussy myself up for you guys. Oh Christ, the red shades! Give it a give it just a moment. Where was I? Oh right, I wanted to resume the music. Thank you for the follow, SP Callahan. Alright, that's bugging me. Okay, so, um, what I want to do for this map is, like, here's Merc land. The residential sector is something to this effect. Um... I don't know, that looks a little too isometric. Not a lot of... So that's where the tower is going to be. Control F yogurt would embarrass this chat, you guys.
What you draw on? Draw on a map. We need a map that describes every uh, a way to see every mission start in uh, uh, Project Nexus. We didn't think we'd need one, but enough people have like requested it. I, you know, and we're we're kind of like agreeing with them to some degree. Like the towers right here. This is where Rush would be, like for example. And then like you'd have security station here, and then you'd have uh, uh, the the uh, what is it? Escape, whatever it was called, the chase, I think it was. Uh, you'd have that one selectable here, you'd have the mag bandit fight here, and just to kind of visually describe it for people who might have a good memory for this sort of thing, like um, the sheriff's little bunker thing was a building right about here. Then you'd have over here, which was like, I think, just the factory or the warehouse. This was the warehouse. The boom factory was over here. It was kind of a weird building shape like so. And then over here you'd have the Merc, uh, Merc boss. You'd have a, a sheriff fight. And this is actually the roof that you fought him on. You were so tired of these little ankle... Well, I mean, maybe it's a, a mercy. Because in my mind, I think it's fun to walk across the map to get where you need to go. However... I don't want to stop people from having fun and so they got me like fine fine if, if you really want to just get over there and play the damn map fucking go for it uh this is the residential sector over here where the train where they got off so somewhere around here is where that first one would be uh the second one would be like where over here and then the third one to the mining sector would be here so like i need to describe this area with with art that explains shit could the map be updated for future story mode content that'd be the idea Balin. uh bellier uh designing it in such a way that allows for more room like you're noticing these sectors that don't get used these were the sectors in the map that we just left unknown because frankly i don't want the entire city mapped that sounds boring and dumb so I want, I want there to always be parts of the city that just don't get mapped. Like, what's all this fucking back here? Who knows? But we have outskirts, uh, industrial, we have residential, we have commercial. We'll have to do something funny with the mining sector, like put it down here, because it's underneath. And then here in the center, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. What's the other sector? I'm forgetting it. Outskirts, industrial, commercial, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six sectors, yeah. And then you'd have over here where Hank comes in to do his nonsense, but that's the shape of it. You got one, two, three, and then the mining sector is just going to be a fucking mess, but we'll describe it. And this one was one, two, rush. Wait, 2.5, because there were two maps down here. So we get we get more things in the mining set. I don't know how you got that conclusion. Y'all drawn some wild conclusions. Are you talking about going straight to the final boss? Because you could walk to rush without playing the levels before it. I mean, yeah, you can walk to the door, but you can't start the mission. This guy's asking some silly questions. Makes me think I'm not explaining things well. So I'm just gonna stop explaining things and just get back to this. But since everything here is going to be super rigid, what I'm thinking to do 
actually is fire up blender and we just refer back to this this is a nice draw I, I appreciate you saying so So we have a general idea of what we want. So we're going to take it to Blender. Come with me, map. Copy you. Go over to 3D. Into the irrelevant. Light, big test. No, we're not doing that. Um, GG Sartorial. 16 months now, dude. Hot damn, looking good, sir. Yeah, no, everyone paid me. And so, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm big money now. Don't steal my milk, just subscribed. Well, thank you. Extended their tier one subscription through November. I appreciate that. Also, the uh, 45 bits from Trading Turtle. Sorry I'm late to the stream. Anyways, here's 45 bits. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay, uh, we don't need you anymore. We can close you completely. Which means we go back to the low angle spin. Which also means we should probably just let that be. You guys get to watch me fumble around in Blender. to get uh, my keyboard doesn't have one of these things on it the the keypad so I had to get one separate oh don't learn blender for me learn blender from tutor for you tutor for you taught me everything just about everything I learned in blender they are easy to learn from they explain everything. Time to mess shit up. Oh, the default cube wasn't destroyed. The default cube is just changing. You like that clacky keyboard? Oh, that's cute. I keep forgetting to do that shit. Okay. Yo. 
Gremmy, 463 has followed. Thank you. That's cool. God, this is like the least exciting shit in the world, but I'm thankful that y'all are here watching me do this. But like this kind of like just bashing around in Blender is always so just, I don't know, I don't know. It feels like there's no right way for me to do this. I don't know if that's a consequence of no formal training, but I always feel like a, a severe lack of confidence moving forward with this. That will ablate in time, like already it kind of is because the city is taking the shape of the, the drawing a little bit. But it's that whole like, I don't know where to start. And my my mentality about that is just start anywhere, it's fine. Dude, donuts are easy. It's got a button for it. Add donut. There's my donut. Oh, I made a donut, sweet. I'm super hungry. Oh, big donut for me. All right, never mind, sorry. I'm not funny, I think I am though. Peyton, five dollars. Damn dude, thank you. Okay, pro, what pro? Thanks. Please don't make fun of me. I'm very sensitive. Uh trading turtle, twenty bits. Comedy gold. Yeah, I know, I know. There goes Crinkles with his fucking donut again. Open world adventure game on iOS, Android. Explore different worlds while using the ability to fly with the See, like that sounds like a really cool game, but I don't, I don't have time to play all the very cool games. Oh yeah, yeah, no slurp. They were, uh, they were, they kept giving me subs, and we had a hype train, and like, oh no, the reason I really put this on. It, it just, the, the tie was because of the hype train, but like the rest of this, I just wanted to be like, yo guys, check me out, I'm fucking great. I'm, I'm great because I'm someone else. No one cared who I was, right? But yeah, Doc. I don't know about the red tie for Doc, though. What is a Doc posture? Just crossed arms, shaking his head. God damn it, Demos. Yeah, 11 days, Slurp. Eleven days, eleven days, eleven days. Breaking shit. Please clap. Odriel followed, thank you. You like scale Y. Then just scale all that Y. Eleven days until Baltimore Comic Con. Your hair has curls. Yeah, you like it? I might leave the length on though. Well, I'm going to trim the sides. I'm going to take the sides and back down. Because it's a little shaggier than it looks in that tiny little window you get of me.
Trading turtle with 30 bits. How did the mag agent torture get those nails in his head? Well, someone, someone viciously put them there. Yeah, no, Slurp's here, so the chat's gonna get hilarious. Slurp is an absolute treasure to this stream, and I will not have her bullied. Chat destroyed. Awesome XD has followed, thank you. Wait, what's all the twos for? I have a purple tie and a silver tie. I also have a yellow tie, but the yellow tie only really... I mean, it could look good with black, but it looks better with the blue. No, what is all the two? Oh, sorry, I didn't see the part where you were doing your little vote thing. Any cherry boy followed, thank you. Now we'll put you over here. Maybe I should start combining verts. Fuck it. when yogurt dies yeah slurp no it's been yogurt mail stream fucking 24 7 the kids can't cannot be controlled yogurt stare see like yeah no yogurt to be damned someone explain the joke don't explain the joke don't explain the joke it's embarrassing is this the new no hands wash thing I'm sorry but you guys have taught me how to dress well and wash my hands, so this is all your fault. All of you guys. Thank you for fixing me. Alright? I redeemed. I might even get a real job. Okay, uh, I gotta start carving these things out one at a time instead of just fucking around. Put a floor under there later. But for right now, but. <laughs> yogurt or Hank Hank J yogurt milk. 
have you looked into 3D printing guns and batons? No, no. Um, and the reason I don't want to do any 3D printing is because I understand that is a skill set that would require a lot of time and dedication that I simply can't devote. So instead, I will endear myself to people who do these things um, and then consider buying their service. Because, like, I understand that, like, if I had nothing going on, really, I'd, or not nothing going on, but if I had fewer things going on, taking on the study of 3D printing wouldn't be a big deal. But, like, between the game and the all uh, 9 5 and all this other nonsense I got going on, I just, I just can't. That and my apartment is like 12 by 12 feet. If I ran a 3D printer in here, I'd probably die. I understand you really need ventilation for that. What got me so happy? I think I'm in a suit and it just got me all fucking... Mm. Slurfwiss is lying, I'm like 5'6". Too much subs bits. Yeah, nah, y'all spoiled the shit out of me. And I'm losing my edge. My Sigma edge. Or my yogurt edge, whatever. Can you show us one millisecond of 952? I did, Trading Turtle. I showed you a lot of milliseconds of that. Slurp's like, I don't know. What's call a slurp? Trading Turtle. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Ask the chat. Blender isn't, uh... I'm s I'm too fucking tall. Or too fucking short. Crinkles is real. Crinkles is not real. I feel like the city walls are thicker than this shit, though. Right? A little bit. That's where the sheriff stood. Yelled at fucking Hank. Called him a tosser. Hank, ya tosser. What's your opinion on walls? The thicker, the better. I like my walls like I like my coffee. Really tall. Yeah, yeah, that was the joke, uh, Kibo's bot. I am a master of comedy. Um, let's see. Now, should I... This is what kills me. I don't know how to do this, like, the right way, so I'm just going to do it the wrong way and learn from it. But I'm thinking, like, should I fully detail one sector at a time, or should I get all the walls done and then go through and start detailing things? You know what I mean? So... It's all just mesh nonsense. Also, I don't like white anymore. Who even likes white? It's in gray. Let's go over to cycles, fuck it. Yeah, I'm kind of compelled to feel the same way there, Tevin. Tevon, sorry.
Now there are... See, and then Blender does silly shit, so I have to unsilly its shit. Bam! Y, X. Oh no! See, this is why when you guys say, I'm gonna learn something from Crinkles, I'm like, maybe not. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. Slurp would stop outing me. All right. <laughs> it's in your Twitter likes. Yeah, my Twitter likes is fucking embarrassing. Fortunately for you, I'm starting to build muscle. Yeah, beat me up at Comic Con. It'll be great. We'll have a battle. One v one in Nick Brawl. <laughs> Fuck no, I got no, I got nothing there. You'll beat the shit out of me. It will be a horrible beatdown. Please? Okay, yes. Maybe we will. Actually, we should probably talk about that. Is it free? I'm cheap. It's like 40 bucks, but you're a millionaire now. Don't count my money. Or will be. God, can you imagine how funny it would be if I lost all my money in like six months? Hey, Mr. Crinkles, do you know the function called extend along normal? I think that's the name. Extend along normal, what's the shorthand key for it? Because I use uh, extrude, which is just like how to do that. And I made one very large building there. Do you know the function called extend along normal? I'm curious about that, because like I could do that along here. These little guys would be like bat like so. And when I do th oh, I think it's Let me try F3. Extend. Okay, I'm really curious about what you're talking about there. Um, what am I working on? I'm making a city. I'm making a city. There's my drawing of the city. It sucks. But we're going to make a model of the city, which will be great. It has to be great. Choose it from the face menu. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. The words you used extend along normal. I mean, that's extrude face, though, isn't it? I just want to make sure I understand because I'm trying to kind of learn a little something here. Was it painful to animate the auditor in Madness 10? A little bit. A little bit. Um... Yeah, I really think, I think what you're talking about is like that, right? Because I use that for like box modeling like crazy, it's great. But right now I'm just using the inset command. Um, where's my boy, where's my boy, there you are. 
so I can just like zzzz, and then you wind up with some holes but this is a good thing to discuss in either event You know what? I shouldn't be so slavish to the topography, though. Will Breadman ever return? Probably not. Yeah, I'm starting to see what you mean, though. Okay, yeah, we're talking about the same thing then, that uh, Toto. A little upset there. Let's see if we can't. Because I've already like really screwed up the topography of this thing, but that's fine. I don't need to preserve that. So, in fact, yeah, no, let's try and go with it with their kind of method of purely extruding. Um, take you down to there. Merge by distance. Wait, no, no, no. I told you to merge by distance. There you go. In fact, let's narrow up that wall. See, we're gonna have like two different styles of wall building on these different uh, halves of the city. I think that will be fine though. You can reduce that merging vertex. Oh, uh, I just use select all, right click, merge ver vertice by distance. Um, I think, yeah, that's how you like weld vertices that are nearby to each other, yeah. Would you consider making an IV print in the future? I absolutely would. Uh, in fact, I might be doing that sooner rather than later, but um, I, got, I, got other, I got other merch plans right now. I am really, really sweating the topography here. Hmm. 
Yo, Crinkle's not wearing a tank top. Oh, no, yeah, not today. I mean, maybe a little later? But, uh, right now, nah, nah. Feel a little snazzy. Oh yeah, happy birthday there, Kibos. Cartography. Well, I mean, couldn't hurt. Pomito, thank you. Thank you for that sweet follow, dude. Trading turtle. I got nothing for that. I got nothing for that. Taking classes? Uh, man, taking classes actually would be ideal. Thank you for the 20 bits, though. It's, it's not a matter of money, it's a matter of time. I will confess that much. You always have to extrude the face with E for the thickness of the wall, shrink the face, and then merge the vertices. But if you click on the 11th item from the top left menu, select the face and then drag the yellow dot, you could live without merging. Whoa. Let's see. If you click on the 11th item from the top left of the menu, let's... Probably from the face. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 
11 Grinfield. That can't be right. I must be misinterpreting the data. Let's go to face. But if you click on the north item from the top of the left menu. I mean, then we wind up with this stuff. Uh, trading turtle with 160 bits. Uh, here's the last of my bits. Well, I do appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Was Crinkles working on it again? Yeah, see, I'm so bad at it, you can't tell what it is. It's supposed to be a city. It's supposed to be the city. Man, I don't know how much clothes cost for Hank. Does Hank look like he has a job? Okay, let's get that empty. It's a vertically aligned menu. No, no, don't be sorry. I appreciate you trying to help me out there. Let's see here. Let's see if we can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, that's beveling, right? That's... Whoa, that's wrong. That's not what you were referring to. That's the knife. This is the N-Gon tool. Whoa, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. I have no idea how that could be useful. I'm into it, though. I need to find a use for this. make polygons forever okay this what can I say I just don't mess with this stuff too often oh that's I don't even know what it's doing just flattening it this is a fun opportunity edge slide smooth sheer Do I need to, like, grab more of them? Ah, there it is. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is interesting. I don't, I don't goof around with shit that I don't understand that much. Like, I just stick with what I know and make it work. Like, if I wanted to get this effect... Like, because, like, sheer, that's fucking cool, right? If I wanted this effect before I knew this, what I would do 
is use proportional editing on a linear and then do something to this effect. You know, not quite the same. This is cool. What does this do? Like turn off proportional. Cannot rip selected faces. Oh, you'll rip it. Rip edge. Rip region. What if I grab like all these? See, if I wanted it ripped, I'd just hit Y. Okay, clearly there's another way of going about it. Thank you for teaching me this neat new toy. I will explore it a little later. Right now I'm actually getting kind of fed up with Blender and I might want to save this for my work uh, load tomorrow. Um, but we've been streaming for about two hours and God, that's kind of embarrassingly small amount of work I got done there. But the structure of it is coming around. So what I'm thinking is either we can play some Psychonauts or I can go back to drawing that Hank. And just so you know where that Hank is. So you can like see him and then make a decision. That's the map, Matt. Oh yeah, uh, wearing a little bit of a vest here. So what the fuck happened to my camera? Oh god, no, not too close, you'll see my pores. Megan extended their tier one subscription through November. Thank you. Ah, oh, this is a banger track. It's got such respect for the what the fuck? Bill got me unmetal. Unmetal is a 2D stealth action adventure that pays homage to the classics with a healthy dose of horror, humor, and satire. You play as Jesse Fox, who is definitely not an elite commando under arrest for the crime he didn't commit and must escape from a covert military base using wits and fists. You know, if I didn't have to have Psychonauts sitting around, um, we'd, we'd check this out like right now, but we got Psychonauts. Maybe. Have you ever used a th made a 3D model to use as a reference for drawing? No, I've gone the other way around though. Um, in fact, I got an example of that. Let's let's just fuck around a little bit. Um, where's my 3D models? Uh, I think they're from 2020. Bump and displacement. Yeah, I, shitty tests. I'm very bad at this. In some months, I don't do anything. I'm so mad. the one I don't think so pardon me guys I'm sorry this this might have an example of what I was doing here Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was kind of like in the middle of it, but what I do is I'll draw the character from the front and the side and then model around it, if that makes sense. Thick, y'all are. 
y'all are in, insufferable. Um, well, let's see if we got like one that's further along. Yeah, it's further along, all right. How further along? Yeah. Wait for the camera. Wait, oh wait, no, I'm in, there we go. Yeah. I had fun with this model. It's got a lot of problems with it, but I don't know. I had fun learning how to fucking do things. So I need to do more of this shit because it's like complex as fuck and I'm learning how to how to make things do. I need to do a little wiggle. But um yeah, now let's just get back to some drawing. So I'm glad I got the city kind of like structured. I'm gonna send that to myself to work on tomorrow. But uh yeah, we're just gonna get back to drawing. The warm-up became the main. Do I like Mind Chamber's model? Uh, to say that I like it is an understatement. The man is a magician. Trading Turtle, bring back the Hank Balls, please. What are you talking about? Like the... Was that the like the Poland Ball, but it's like Hank? Is that what you're talking about? Here, we can bring him back. He's right there. Oh. There you go. Little Hank Ball. Just for you, because you gave me so many bits. Alright, this jacket's gonna get some fucking weird marks on it. Of course I thought about hiring Mind Chamber to help with DLC. We thought about hiring Mind Chamber to work on Project Nexus. Uh, we just couldn't never afford it. But it's definitely a possibility now, or at least on the table. We'll sort it out. Who knows what the future will bring? I mean, he's got his own projects to work on, too, so... Do I know White Hank and Pink Hank? Yeah, they're in Madness Project Nexus. Of course I know them. Will I have you- oh no, I'm not going there for the booth. I am not going there with the booth. That is not why I'm going to that con. Is it pronounced Demos or Demos? I pronounce it both ways. Because I am inconsistent and garbage. In fact, I'm going to put the mute thing that I put on this guy. Let's put 
like Hank's got nothing to say. Hank says talk is cheap. Shit. That seems like it would be a really good like IV print. Like just get her looking all fucking livid. Like grr. And then put the crosses. Or they could be like chest pasties, like for the nips. But I don't know. Can you sell that sort of thing on Etsy? Is that a road I want to go down on Etsy? As a hell de Jesus has followed, thank you. Sex does sell, it's true. How do I sell sex? I'm tired of being poor. Pink body pillow. your enthusiasm guys Madcom body pillow Trading turtle. Jeeba's body pillow, perhaps. I feel like I asked a silly question. Thank you for the bits, of course. Oh, I'd have to pay rent. I just do it with it feeling dirty as hell. That's all. Sanford boob mouse pad. Holy shit. Out of control, the lot of you. It is Clip Studio Paint, correct?
I don't think I'm ever going to make madness combat body pillows. That just sounds like a weird thing coming out of my mouth when I say it. Madness combat body pillow. No. I don't think so, sorry. Sanfo boop. Yeah, what is it, like a full moon? Is that why you guys are just out in force? Hey, I chose to wear a suit. Your reaction to it is all, that's on you guys. Well, I mean, dude, suit's just half the look, man. Right? Suit's just half the look. Let's complete it real quick. God, I don't think I'll ever get over how cool this thing is. Never. Never, never. Cool. God. You can see, like, it's all cool in there. Sorry, I'm never, ever, ever getting over it. We like 80 years old in hospice explaining to some poor nurse. Like, oh, did you know someone made me a resin mask? I still probably have the fucking thing. Here it is. And she'd be like, that's nice, Mr. Jolly. Here's your morphine. I'd fucking die. It's fine. Frankly, if I make it to 80, that'd be friggin' amazing. Yeah, a little swagalicious. A little bit. I think that's a word that could be used. Hey, gut trip. It's not, it's like a, a robe. I, damn it, I'm trying to like express it as a robe like Mr. X wears. Not a robe, but a, a jacket, like a, a big old fucking trench coat. And then his feeties would come out here. His little toes, I guess, and then maybe, uh, fucking soda bottle. It's two soda cans. Okay.
Give him a dress now. <laughs> Demanding. I like trench coats. I put them in trench coats sometimes. Meep has followed, thank you. As well as Rad Animations, thank you. Do I own a trench coat? No, I own a long coat. Um, different animal. I have a long coat? No, I own a trench coat. Um, it was feature featured. It was I posted myself in it when I was uh, at a Ren festival dressed as a uh, uh, what the fuck are they called? Plague Doctor. There's like a it's way back there, but it was a sort of a trench coat, but it's got kind of a not Victorian but old slant to the cut of it. But uh, yeah, I own some long coats. All that is to say, me wandering around the conversation too much. But no, yes, I do. Static ZCX followed, thank you. I, whenever I draw Demos, I draw them in a long coat, like a uh, overcoat, something that would go about halfway down his thighs. be merchandise from the series or from the game in the future well I have an Etsy store uh, where I sell prints I want to start working up like as I was working on stickers for what feels like a year but I wound up making a print out of them but I'm still going to find a place and I think I found a place that's pretty good um, but pretty soon you're, you're gonna see me screaming and yelling about it uh, it'll be a means to support me um, and then we're thinking about uh, running stuff from the Project Nexus store so that it's a means to support me and Swain. Because, you know, the Project Nexus endeavors are uh, joint through Gibbing Tree, and then there's, there's me just trying to pay my rent. You know? Can I draw Fat Sanford? I believe someone else already did, and they did a much better job than I ever could, so I'm not, I'm not touching that. Looking pretty swag. Also, everyone remember to hydrate. Yeah. Oh, you hear that? That's an empty class. The funny thing, or the terrible thing about like this, is like this looks fucking great. The vest, I love it. I might want to get like a slightly different colored vest because black on black, you lose it. But I'm also wearing jeans, so it doesn't fucking matter. Purple grapes or green grapes? I like green grapes. Purple grapes are good though, don't get me wrong. I'm not disparaging one for the other. And then just jeans, yeah. <laughs> That's the joy of streaming. You know, some people don't wear pants when they stream. I wear really nice and then jeans while I stream. Or tank tops. See, like, can't show off though. 
Can't show off. Ramil Mill, thank you for following, as well as your paraf. Rip the suit off. I'm not gonna, I like this this attire. It's nice. Dude, I don't like wearing shirts. This is nice. It's different, but left to my own devices, it's just shirtless all day. Would you consider a white or gray vest on black or vice versa? See, that's where I would want to think about it for a long time. Because, like, I got some uh, gunmetal uh, uh, dress shirts. So maybe, maybe I'll do, like, the gray dress shirt with the black vest. So then that way I don't have to buy a new vest. But I want to buy a new vest anyway, so maybe the black arms with the silvery vest would be nicer. The problem with that is that with red near the silver might look kind of, eh. I don't know. I feel like I need to ask someone who knows fashion. And of the 230 people here, one of y'all should be able to tell me exactly how I should dress. Help me attain maximum drip. How did I meet Cheshire? I met him in like fourth or fifth grade way back when and then again in high school where we hit it off a little more real like. Black on silver is tacky, but what about silver on black? Because I also got like a silver tie, kind of a gray silvery tie. Send photos. Ah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Dripping. How do you draw knuckles with circles? No, I think Hank would destroy me. Just speaking canonically if he were a human being. Will I ever draw Hoffner? I don't think I could ever draw Hoffner uh, with justice. The fans have adopted him, and I don't. I don't have. Uh, I've got no stake over the poor man. He is our son. <laughs> Pandora Knight with five. Please, just a small hoffy. Maybe I'll draw a hoffy ball. How's that sound? A Hoffner ball.
and draw Jebus Ball. Let's get a little more detailed here. There. There's your Hoff ball. Jeb ball. Jeb's a dork. Like a Kristoff ball, right? Like he's still just a scientist. I can't do this shit as cute as you guys do it. All my stuff comes off as a little stiff. Crackpot ball? Sheriff ball? I'm not drawing all the balls, guys. It's fucking crackpot ball. It's a dog ball. Sheriff ball. Fuck you. There's your sheriff ball. I draw with a uh, Huyen. Swear refund. <laughs> I'm allowed to swear. I'm done drawing balls, Trading Turtle. I'm sorry, but thank you for the bits. I want to draw up Hank. Yeah, you got me all pissy. Thanks for the balls, Peepaw. Well, you, I'm glad you appreciate it, and I'm glad I was able to make your, make your day a little nicer. Iberi, with $3. Moderators, the word Hank Ball is still banned in the Crinkles Twitch chat. This oppression can only be tolerated for so long. Please, it's been months. Please unban the word Hank Ball. Do we have any mods in the chat? Arrow the bird has followed. Thank you. Okay, guys, however, it is getting past 1230 and I'm getting pretty tired. So question for you guys. Um, should I see this Hank drawing to completion or should we try something different next time? Maybe one of the other Madcom characters, maybe an Ivy that we can make into a print. Uh, your guys is called a ruminate on, but what are your thoughts right now?
I'm done asking for balls. Will you draw Hank Cube? Maybe next time. Completion of this Hank. Completion of this Hank. Yeah. All right. We'll finish this, and then we'll do a uh, an IV next. How's that sound? I got some other things that I owe people. I know Monochronic needs something, and I know that uh, Lochner needs something. My good pal Lochner. Um, so I'll set up an itinerary. We'll work on this Hank a little more. I feel like he's not going to wind up as a print or anything, so I'm just going to kind of do him up real pretty like. And uh, yeah, yeah. Doc stands are draw Doc. No, oh, buddy, I am Doc. Um, that said, let's go for a raid. There's no one to raid. What the fuck is this shit? This is lame. Uh, with no one to raid, we're just going to end the stream here and now. Let me just make sure you're all not reading. Have a nice night. Oh, wait, wait, no! Bill had sent me a video, and we need to check that shit out. Ah, uh, yes. Blap. Blap. Uh, wait, did he? What the fuck is it? Hacker man. Yeah, I remember the little, yeah, because I have the little thing right here, and it's funny I even saw it with this mask on. Hacker man. Wait, no, you already sent that one. That's not right at all. Da -da -da. I can check this shit out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, oh, we already got the uh, if 80s cartoons were Scottish. Fire another one. Fire another one. Phobos versus Auditor. Who win? Uh, Auditor. Okay, let's fire this up. Let's. Oh man, am I ever. Okay, let's. Uh... Mark that out, mark that in. Are you stressed? Do you need to go to F Planet Fitness? This is too quiet. No, I don't want to sign up. American farmers have been growing for about 30 years now. The plant blooms in the summer, producing bright yellow flowers. Farmers harvest the seeds from pods, which form after these flowers die off. Canola oil seeds are cultivated from the rapeseed plant, which, in recent years, has had its name changed due to unpleasant associations. This same rebranding has renamed other popular oils, such as vegetable oil, which was originally known as diarrhea juice. <laughs> Unlike olive oil, canola oil is not typically sold in virgin varieties. For more info on finding virgins, check your local mirror. This episode is sponsored by everyone's favorite YouTube sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I wanted to be prepared for this momentous occasion, so I combed the entire list of all 458 champions currently in the game to find the coolest one. And after hours of searching, I found him. Troglodyte. Troglodyte is an absolute monster, figuratively and literally. He's got a 20% chance to debuff enemy attacks for one turn, making him the strongest champion in the game. He's also a common rank, meaning top tier players speedrun the game to obtain him, and then immediately sacrifice every other champion they own to power him up. It's a patented strategy for guaranteed victory and fun, and now you can try it too. He's funny when he advertises. What a champ. Guardian of the Arcane Keep. This dude is actually a pretty nice guy, sort of like a paladin. 
cast with protecting arcane knowledge so only the worthy can use it. Literally though, he's guarding arcane potions, and he's checking to see if you're worthy of getting your hands on them. Normally it's a pretty tough fight, but it's a cakewalk with troglodyte in your party, because troglodyte is unstoppable. If you lose this fight while you have troglodyte in your party, it's your own fault, and I don't know what to tell you. This month, officially known in my home as Troglodyte Appreciation Month, Raid's got tons of special events planned, including a cool Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. Big rewards, tournaments against other players, special fragment events, brand new legendary champions, and maybe, just maybe, a visit from old Saint Troglodyte himself. Raid's bigger, busier, and better than ever, and there's some giant updates and more Troglodyte action coming very soon. There's never been a better time to get started. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get an epic hero, Chonaru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, and even better as a sacrifice to Troglodyte. 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion, hopefully Troglodyte, as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Once you're in, you can find me in game under the name Bacon Fry Man Pan. Man. Download Raid Shadow Legends using the link in the description and start your troglodyte adventure today. Okay. Olive oil is one of the healthiest oils compared to other cooking oils, which is why it's commonly used to soak and ruin perfectly good salads. The flavor of canola oil is also so rich and delicious, most professional chefs don't even bother turning on the heat when using canola oil. They let the oh. oil itself cook and flavor the meat. Oh. Go ahead and try this secret cooking tip for your next steak dinner. Oh, yes. Canola seeds start out loaded with foreign material. A vibrating sieve cleans out this foreign material. Is it cigarette butts? Your government's ah. firewall would, depending on which people's republic you live in. The foreign material is sifted to the top, where it's collected, processed, and sold as foreign oil. A popular staple of the American diet. Oh. The seeds pass by a magnet, which should raise concerns that you're not getting enough iron in your diet. Jesus. We would like to apologize for that joke. Next, the seeds enter a roller mill, which crushes them into little frostings of flakes. These flakes are more than good for oil production. They're adequate. Meanwhile, in the factory bathroom... <laughs> Awful. I think he means to say that's doo-doo juice. Elsewhere in the factory, the canola seeds have been pressed together to extract their oils, resulting in some leftover canola cake. Canola cake is sometimes sold in stores as a delicious alternative to birthday cake. And by delicious, I mean depressing. Uh. The cake is usually put into this flood tank to drown out any thoughts of escape. The oil is then stored in these massive silos, which normally might be impressive if it weren't for the goddamn motherfucking Vegetal? choo choo train parked right next to him. Vegetal. Holy shit, what a magnificent train. Oh man, today's gonna be a good day. Pretty good train. In the refining phase, tanks spin the oil at high speed, causing it to vomit itself into a chute. Impurities are processed out How can I not make shit jokes? Sold to soap manufacturers, which makes very little sense if you think about it. A light is shown on the oil to make sure no ghosts are hiding in it. Haunted canola oil may taste significantly better, but each spoonful takes literal years off of the consumer's lifespans, which is bad for business. And then, the vault is opened. Few mortal men know what true horrors lie dormant within the vault, for it was sealed centuries ago. But they do know it must be regularly opened to allow the excess waste product of the demons to escape, lest they grow restless, and try to destroy their sacred prison. Meanwhile, at the factory's embarrassingly basic chemistry set, technicians recreate factory conditions to test the oil for impurities. 
For some reason, this oil sells for about $200 per bottle, and the producers have told me I'm only allowed to try some when I'm older. Back to the refinery, we are finally ready to move on to one of the finest filling machines on God's green earth. Look at it go! It's magnificent movements. It's clandestine cadence. Fucking good! It's immaculate machinations. My goodness. This is even better than that train earlier. Oof. After this beautiful ballet, the bottles can finally be rinsed on the inside with canola oil. Ooh, rinsed. Then it's on to the capping machine, which, and I know for a fact I'm not alone when I say this, but, based on its design, I'd like to have sex with it. You know, I was thinking it, but then he went and said it. The labels are applied to the bottles as they spin around to keep the oil dizzy, so by the time it ends up on store shelves, it's too disoriented to remember the horrors it saw within the vault. Well, thank you for the subscription there. 2B needs to learn about oil. We There's, there's shit to learn, man. Okay. That was fun. Thank you guys for showing up. I think I'm all done here. Is anyone... Yeah, let me check my... Uh, dashboard. See if anyone's raidable now. Like, they would have just started and that would have been hilarious. Raid channel. Nope, nobody. Okay. Well, we're going to finish this sooner or later. Soon. Nice and soon. He's got big hands. Of course he's sexy. But, uh, yeah, no, thanks for dropping by. And we'll see y'all later. Thanks for the sub there, Bill, for hugs. Now he could show up and use the adverts. But, yeah, good night.